بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ اوکے سو آئی ہوپ ایوری ون اس فائن ویلکم بیک ٹو دو ڈائنامک انجنئرز آفٹر لینٹ آف ٹائم تو آئی ایم ہیر ٹو ڈے ویڈ ون انادر ٹاپک دیٹ اس دی لوڈ ڈسٹریبیوشن ان سلابز دی لوڈ ڈسٹریبیوشن ان سلابز ہیز بین ان امپورٹن ٹاپک for both designers and the construction engineers uh, and the reason is if, if you don't know about the load distribution and slabs uh, so you cannot accurately detail that slab and detail that slab means you cannot accurately place the reinforcement in that slab okay so uh, load distribution uh, I, I would like to talk about the mechanism of load distribution that how does load is distributed let's suppose this is a slab we all know that and uh, a slab will be supported by beams okay so if a load is applied over this slab this slab is going to transfer it to this beam and this beam and this beam is going to transfer it to the columns like you can give it this way from slab to beams from beams to columns and this column is going to transfer it to the foundations okay and this foundation is going to transfer it to the sub base somewhat like this okay uh, it is a, a general view uh, it's not an accurate diagram but the overview is slab slab to beam beam to columns columns to foundation and foundation to sub base so this is the overall load distribution mechanism in any building now the load distribution mechanism of a slab how, how does this works okay so uh, the load distribution mechanism of a slab uh, basically if you want to know about the load distribution mechanism of slab you do need to know about the types of slabs okay so uh, basically we have two types of slabs one way slab and two way slab okay so both these slabs transfer load through different mechanism now what are those mechanism uh, so uh, first you all may know about these basic types and how to differentiate this uh, general overview is if you want to differentiate between types of slabs you do need to know the length to width ratio okay if length to width ratio is greater than or equal to 2 it's a one way slab and if length to width ratio is less than 2 it's a two way slab like let's suppose this is a slab okay its length is 10 feet and its width is uh, 4 feet okay so uh, 10 divided by 4 is equal to 2.5 which is greater than 2 so this is a one-way slab and for one-way slab uh, of its 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 load will be distributed somewhat like this in one direction it will be to this beam and this beam i will explain it for you but i just want to uh, tell you about one way one way means in one direction okay this is a one direction like if if you call it a x y coordinate system then it will transfer it either in x direction or in y direction okay just one direction and from two slab we means all those slabs where the length to width ratio is greater than two like let's suppose this is a slab where the length of slab is 5 and the width of slab is 3 okay uh, this is general view so 5 divided by 3 is equal to 5 divided by 3 is equal to 1.67 okay which is less than 2 so this is a 2 way slab and from 2 way slab the load distribution will be in two directions like in this direction and in this direction as well now how, how 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 does this distribution occurs this was a general overview of one way into a slab now how does this works like uh, what is the mechanism uh, or what is the process uh, through which the load distribution occurs now uh, first the one way slab okay so let's suppose this is a one way slab now there we are going to make the beams okay i'm going to extend it okay these this is i'm calling it b1 b1 b2 and b2 okay so 
where does the load will be transferred okay you shall keep this thing in your mind that the load will be transferred to the longer direction okay keep this thing in your mind like if this is a slab okay now this is the center line of this slab so load will be distributed from center to this slab half to this slab and half to this slab okay so, uh, to this beam okay it it must be kept in mind that some of the load is transferred to these beams as well but that is negligible okay negligible that we can ignore it so the load will be transferred just in this one direction okay this x uh, sorry y and this is x so load is distributed from this y axis to x axis okay this is th that is why we call it a one way slab okay the, uh, the or, uh, original problem is in the two slab distribution because in two slab distribution there are different methodologies or there are different theories so uh, we will have to follow those different theories to distribute the load in a two way slab this was just for one way slab now load distribution in two way slabs So in uh, two way, we will be uh, following this simple rule. Uh, let me make a B a slab. Let's suppose this is a slab. Okay. Uh, this is B one. This is B one. This is B two, and this is B two. So. How will be the load distributed over the slab? Okay, so as per the theories, the load will be distributed through trapezoidal method and triangular methods. So what does this mean? Let's suppose this is the center line of this slab. Now, the load will be distributed just like somewhat like this. This is one triangle and this is another triangle. Okay. So you can see here that this is a trapezoidal. This is a trapezoid. Okay. And this is a triangle. So I'm using this plus sign just to differentiate between uh, the trapezoidal load and the triangular load. Okay. So as for the theory, the load is distributed. I'm calling it LX. Okay. And I'm calling it LY. Okay. So the load is distributed to LX direction like towards this and trapezoidal formation and uh, toward y direction in a triangular formation okay so you can see that on longer direction the load is more as compared to the shorter direction so whenever you are designing this beam you will have to keep this thing in your mind that this beam will be a weaker beam or will be uh, less strengthened than this beam okay the longer beam okay so the quantity of this beam uh, load can be calculated is if, if you want to calculate the quantity of load the triangular load okay this load the load on b2 okay this will be equal to w multiply by this length ly divided by 3 okay so uh, wh whatever the load is you will have to uh, multiply it with this length divided by 3 so this is how you can calculate this load the load over this uh, beam okay now for the longer direction that is the load over b1 and b1 the load will be w multiply by y divide by 2 into 1 minus 1 over 2 beta 
okay this is the this is how you can calculate the load for the longer beam okay now what is this beta just this one is the problem because you know that ly is this w is the applied load 1 minus 2 beta beta is the ratio of lx to ly okay so you will have to calculate this lx divided by ly and you can simply calculate beta and this putting this beta in this equation you will get the load that is applied over this beam so this is how you will have to distribute the load over the uh, beams from a slab and through this is this is for the designer point of view now for the constructor point of view you will have to keep this thing in your mind that the main load will be uh, distributed toward the longer beams and a one way slab or you can say that most of the load will be transferred to the longer side while for beams in a two way slab you will have to keep both shorter direction and longer direction in your mind and the load will be transferred to shorter and longer direction so in my another lecture i will be practically applying a load over any uh, slab i will be taking any practical uh, slab and we'll be distributing the load or beams so uh, be with me and we will be talking about that practically thank you very much and i hope you would have learned something please don't forget to share your views regarding this video uh, because that appreciates our work thank you